Hello, Budget Kings and Queens. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Budgets with Elma, and today we are going to do my paycheck number one for July. As you know, the month prior, I had three paychecks, and the last one was a lucky pay, okay? That lucky paycheck. And so for this month, I only have two paychecks. And so we're going to dive into it. But before I do, if this is your first time watching my channel, welcome, welcome. I hope you like what you see and think about becoming one of the family members. Okay, royalty. And if you're returning kings and queens, welcome to my channel. I've been missing you. I hope you had a wonderful weekend, a wonderful day for your work week. And I hope that you're ready to dive in with me as I do this budget. On my channel, I do budget by paycheck, a zero-based budget, of course, paying myself first. That is very important for my future. I do budgets with me, bills calendar, mini saving challenges, monthly saving challenges. I do everything in budgeting from A to Z. So if you like any of those type of content, you are in the right channel, kings and queen. Now let's dive in this paycheck. Okay, for July, paycheck number one. And let me know if you have already done your paycheck number one or if you're already now in paycheck number two. Because some people get paid four times in a month. Some people get paid two times in a month. And on your lucky months, you get five. On your lucky months, you get three. Okay, so now let's dive into this paycheck. So the income that I'm working with, and if you're a returning subscriber, you know I always pull out 500, um, excuse me, not 500, 1500 to do my budget, okay? And this amount is after, again, if you're returning, you should know this, but if this is your first time seeing my video or first time coming to my channel, I first take out my half of my mortgage payment. I take out um, health um, deductions, um, dental, okay, my 401k, my Roth IRA, and I take out uh, my ties for church, and I take out a couple of other things, and after I have taken all those things out, I am then left with 1500 to do my budget, okay? And we are a family of five. My hubby budget is not included in here. This is just my budget, and this is just my channel. But you will see what I cover, and there's certain things my husband covers as well, and I may not include them in here, but whatever I cover for myself and for the family, I include it. Okay, but me and my husband, we do split the four walls. If you're familiar with Dave Ramsey, okay, the baby steps, uh, me and my hubby, we do split the four walls right in half, okay? And then we all have certain expenses that we take care of our own fully, okay? Now let's dive into the budget. So I am left 1500 after I explained to you all those deductions prior. I work with 1500 always, okay? to make my budget. So for my fixed expenses for the month, I always take care of the mortgage, me and hubby. Remember, four walls split right in half. And I'm gonna put paid here because we do keep our mortgage amount private, okay? The next thing that we take care of is our electric. And the electric is 190. And I'm estimating but I will give you a final number when I do my closeout video. But now we're just estimating for the budget, okay? Car insurance. If you're returning, you know that me and hubby split that in half. If you're new to my channel, um, our car insurance typically runs to 230 to 235. So me and my hubby, we each pay 117. Okay, and my hubby takes care of my daughter's care insurance payment, and so he takes care of the 117. I take care of the 117. Okay, and the next expense that I have is Netflix subscription. Okay, oops, there we go, and that amount is I believe 22, and I'm estimating. Okay. And my Canva, which I use for everything, for all my social media platforms, when I am uh, doing thumbnails, whether I'm doing, um, creating anything, um, any posts, anything like that, um, I do use Canva. So I'm putting 15. 
And for my cap cut, I use that to edit my videos when I am posting, okay? And I'm estimating $5, okay? When I add everything up, 190 for electric, 117 for car insurance, $22 for Netflix, $15 for Canva, $5 for cap cut, that gives me $3.49, okay? By the way, I just want to let you know, uh, my kids are sleeping <laughs> in the area where I do videos, so you may hear them either snoring, one of them is watching something, so you may hear them laughing, you may hear the volume of the TV, but if you happen to hear that in the background, one of them is sleeping, um, and like I mentioned, each of them are doing something, okay? So you may hear that in the background, FYI, okay? Those are my mini me's as I am recording. Okay, so for the fixed expenses, that total is $349. Now we're gonna move into my variable expenses, which are my cash envelopes, okay? I'm gonna put that here, cash envelopes. And let me know in the comment below, what categories do you have for your variable expenses? Everybody has their own different categories based on their family and their lifestyle and their different expenses. So let me know in the comments below, what are your variable expenses for your family, okay? And how many people are in your family that you budget for? As I mentioned, I budget for a family of five, okay? Me and my husband and my three kids, okay? So now I'm going to do my cash envelopes. And the first one I'm going to do is food, which is groceries, okay? And I'm estimating $200 because it's summertime and I know I'm spending more on groceries. And how we do it in my home, me and my hubby, we do um, pay a certain amount for groceries. I always estimate between $150 to $200 um, every time I get paid. And my hubby pays the difference when we grocery shop. That's just how it works. Okay. And so $200 for groceries. And for gas, I'm estimating $60. I usually put 50, but since it's summertime and a lot of people are vacationing, the gas prices has gone up a little bit. So just to make sure my tank is super full, because I like to leave it full every pay period, I'm estimating $60, okay? And let's see, for kids, I'm estimating $50. Okay, my princess is in a wedding, if you mention, uh, excuse me, as I mentioned in other videos. So she is getting her hair done because it's getting close to the wedding. Uh, we will be attending the wedding sometime this weekend. And so um, I want to make sure I have that money. She's getting her hair done. Uh, it's just to buy a couple of things uh, to get her hair done. I will be styling her hair, but there's a couple of hair products and certain things we need um, to make that happen. Okay, and... For eating out, I'm estimating $100. This month is my husband and son's birthday. My son will be turning 13, okay? And my husband, he'll be turning a big milestone. Because <laughs> he's looking at me like, don't be telling my age. Okay, I won't, baby. Um, so he does have a birthday coming up. So him and my son um, are born in the same month. Um, and their birthday is celebrated in the same week, okay? They're a couple of days apart. And so um, I'm estimating $100 to take them um, out to eat, okay? And for shopping, I'm just putting $10. Um, we don't need much because we did a big haul uh, from our previous budget. And let's see, for home, okay, slash household, okay, or toiletries. Okay, I'm estimating 10 because like I mentioned, we did a big haul and we don't really need much. And for personal, I'm just going to add 10. Okay, I don't need anything as well. Okay, so let's calculate everything. $200 for groceries, $60 for gas, $50 for kids, which is just my princess. My son is all good. Um, $100 for eating out. And let's see, 10, 10, 10 plus 30, that gives me, a, uh, excuse me, 440 for our variable expenses, okay? The next one I'm going to do is 
our savings, okay? Paying ourselves first, okay? Which is one of my favorites. Okay, we want to pay ourselves first for our future, okay? And what I am doing is for my emergency fund, and there's a template that I do use um, in order to reach this goal. It is broken down into 26 weeks because I do get paid 26 weeks. And for this pay period, I am to pay 60, no, not 60, $36, okay? 60 is an amount I'm going to do on another saving challenge, but that's another video at another time. So for my emergency fund is $36, okay? And for my savings challenges, okay? And the little template boxes are so small. Um, so hopefully you guys can see that. And that is 114, okay? And then what I like to do is I like to just put these two for now, and later on I will figure out what my buffer will be. But for now, I know that when I add 36 plus 114 gives me 150, okay? And we will come back because I will be adding my buffer, okay, towards the end and miscellaneous to give me uh, a zero base budget towards the end. So that's what I have for my paying myself first, my savings, okay? Which is my favorite category of all. The next thing I'm going to do for my debt slash other expenses, I have my toll fee. And if you've been on my channel, you know I take the turnpike to get to work since I work a little far from work. And I am estimating that I am going to be putting, uh, let's see here, hmm, I want to say $50 on my son pass account okay and they bill me or I just pay it ahead of time or they keep deducting it from my bill account and then I pay $50 every month okay and so after that other extra expenses that I will be adding in this category is wedding okay and this is because I am attending a wedding that my daughter is a flower girl in and I am estimating $50 to purchase a gift for the bride and groom. And um, I've been saving already, but this is the amount I am adding to that envelope to purchase her gift. So $50. And for B-Day, as I mentioned, my hubby and son, I am purchasing a gift for them, $100, $50 for each of them, okay? And so when I add $50, for the toll, $50 in the wedding envelope, and $100 for the B-Day to purchase gift for my son and husband. That gives me a total of $200 in the debt slash other expense, okay, category. Now, what I'm going to do, I am going to add everything, okay, from each of the categories, from my fixed expense, my variable expense, my debt, and then my savings, both the emergency fund and the savings challenge, and it will then help me figure out what my buffer will be. So let's begin. For the fixed expense, it is $349. For my variable expense, it is $440. For my uh, debt slash other expense, that is $200. That gives me a total of $989. When I then add my emergency fund and my saving challenge, it gives me $150. So that gives me a total of $1,139. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my $1,500 of my income that I'm budgeting for minus $1,139 of my fixed expense, my variable expense, my debt slash other expense, plus my savings, okay, of the $1,139 will give me $361 is my buffer, okay? And I'm just going to highlight that, and I hope you can see that. Now... When I take 
$1,500 of my full income that I have allocated for budget paycheck number one, okay? After all those deductions that I mentioned, all the deductions out, this is what I take to do my home, okay, budget. And I take that $1,500, and again, I minus the $349 of fixed expenses, $440, of my variable expenses minusing 200 sorry guys i made a mistake and double click double numbers let me do that again 1500 of the income minus 349 of the fixed expense minus 440 of my variable expense minus 200 from my debt slash other expenses minus 150 of my emergency and savings that gives me 361 and then i minus my buffer completely of 361 and that gives me a zero base budget the proof is in the writing. Once again, my name is Budgets with Elma. Thank you for watching me budget $1,500 for a family of five from the income to the fixed expense to the variable expenses to the debt slash other expense to my savings to paying myself first and from the income of $1,500 minus $1,500 of my expenses gives me a zero base budget. All right, my name is Elma, and thank you for watching my video. In the comments below, let me know how often do you budget and what type of budget method do you use to budget for yourself and your family. With that being said, have a nice day, and I'll see you on my next video.